hello guys welcome back to my channel and thanks for subscribing to my channel so let's start have you guys uh, completed the challenge did you guys found any easier solution for returning a view better than this if you found it then good if not don't worry i'm going to show it you guys in this video so to do that we just have to write route view and our url which is hello then in here in the second parameter we have to write our blade file name which is dummy so this is it now let's go to our view let's refresh our page and we can see that nothing has changed it is still display our blade file so now let's go to our blade file and in here let's uh, show our current url to see our current real url we have to write url and current like this save now let's go back to our browser refresh so we see our url in here now suppose uh, you are coming to uh, this page from another page and if you want to see that page that from which page you arrive to this page you can do that also by typing url previous and it's a function save now let's go back to browser refresh so here you guys can see if uh, i was uh, i redirected it from another page to this page it was showing so it shows now hello world because it's our current page we have refreshed here so now let's go and create a new file here a new blade file for example let's call this template dot blade dot php now in here i will write h3 hello my name so uh, we have wrote this now we want to import this template file to our this dummy so let's see how we can import this to do that we will write add include and our uh, blade file name which is template save and let's refresh here as you guys can see we have imported our uh, another blade file to our current blade file so uh, right now i want to display here my name or uh, another name uh, let's uh, send a parameter from this to here so to do that we have to type here comma and open an array and type here uh, for example name with this arrow key and the name for example i am going to write here john let's save this and in here let's uh, use that parameter or variable that we sent to do that we have to do like this uh, and dollar sign name so let's go to our browser and refresh the page as you guys can see it's showing in here so let's back to uh, to our code now in here i want to run a for loop so let's see how we can do that to do that we write add for and bracket dollar sign i is equal to zero and i until if until i is e uh, smaller than 10 i plus plus and in here in four so as you guys can see if we, uh, you want to write a php code you have to 
start with add and end it with add so and between that your code so let's go back to browser and refresh the page so you guys can see it run multiple time until the loop is ended so now instead of a uh, name let's uh, send a number let's uh, send this dollar sign i and display number in here the number is and i sorry number now let's go back to browser refresh and you guys can see it started from zero up to now so today challenge is only import this code when the i is even so thanks a lot for watching th this video and please don't forget forget to press the subscribe button and see you guys in the next video